Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalisa and this is Homemade Sunshine. So, I have a massive yard sale haul this week and this honestly might have to be a two-part series, to be honest, because it is so many items <laughs> individually. And if I look tired, I am tired. <laughs> I'm big pregnant and this was a hard yard sale that we went to yesterday and I got a ton of stuff. So this may be two parts. We'll see how long it gets. I can see when I'm filming how long it's been recording. So I'll keep up with how long it's been. So it might be a two-parter, but we'll see. Um, this sale was yesterday and my mom and I went together. We went last year to this sale and we got there late and we still got a lot of stuff. I also was not pregnant last year, so I didn't have to look at kids stuff. We spent two and a half hours at this yard sale. And I spent $83 on everything I got, I believe. Yes, 83. My mom spent about 90 some on what she got. They have really good prices and they have really good stuff. So I don't have too many sales where I go to. And this was, did I say it was a churchyard sale? I don't know if I did or not. It's their churchyard sale that benefits their youth. And they just have some great stuff. But we have to shop in every section. We have my mom and I shopping for women's clothing and as the sale goes on longer things get messed up in the sizes so we look in every size because you just never know also with me being pregnant right now I need some things in like a size up because I'm going to be you know postpartum trying to lose weight all da, da, da. I'm going to need some slightly bigger clothes while I transition you know all of that sort of thing and you know my mom and I are different sizes and sometimes clothes shrink. So sometimes she can take a larger size because it's shrank down or because the brand like Eddie Bauer specifically, um, a lot of the times we both have to size up in their brand, especially the older tag items tend to fit pretty snugly. So we also have men in like every size pretty much. Um, my husband's like a small medium. My dad's pretty much a large. My brother's usually an XL. You, sometimes a double XL depends on the item. Generally not though, but sometimes, you know, once again, if it shrinks, blah, blah, blah. So we're shopping in every size <laughs> because they're in basically all of like small, medium, large, extra large, and a little bit of double XL. So it takes us a long time. And now we also have my little boy to shop for. And hence by some of the things you can kind of see here in the background. So I'll insert a clip here of just an overview of the pile. So now that you've seen that pile, you'll understand why we've got to get started and get loaded on these things. I'm going to try to count up all the items and do a price per item and I will try to insert that here and I'll get started showing you. Some things have tags on them, some do not for prices. So that's what I'm going to do just an average price per item on some of the things, but I'll show you the first two things I picked up. First two slash three things I picked up. First being, um, this was marked $3 which is a scooter. It's a little, um, you know, like the Razor scooters. This is not Razor brand, but this is for younger kids because it has the two wheels on the front so they don't have to balance while they're pushing. And this will just get cleaned up and go in our shed. And if you're ever like, why am I buying things so much ahead of time? Um, we have a large size shed, which is perfect for storage. And a lot of these things, when I start tallying them up, like this is about $30, $35 new. Um, another toy I got home is about $30, $35 new. It's just not, it's not affordable for us at all of his next birthdays and Christmases to not have some things already put away for him to get as gifts from us. So, um, my family has always been of the mindset. We don't mind giving used gifts because then we can give you better quality stuff and more things versus if I had to spend... $50, $30 per larger toy item or 20 bucks even for per toy, then, you know, it's just not going to be as many things that we're able to purchase. So just one of those things. So I don't mind giving secondhand gifts in my family. This is what I'm used to. So just for reference, the other thing I picked up initially, these are the first two things I grabbed. There was a line waiting to get in the sale. And as soon as I walked in, I saw these two things side by side and I picked them both up. This is a little John Deere sit and scoot 
little tractor. And this is about $30 to $35 new too. Maybe it's a little banged up, but I'm having a boy and he's gonna bang it up himself. So <laughs> this is just super cute. And for $3, I thought this will be fun. The wheel turns and we didn't have anything where he could like sit and scoot. And so that was something like that. This is normally, I think 50. I have one of these when I was a little girl. I'm sure most of you had these for your kids, the little tykes swing. So this was $2, normally 50. So that's expensive, <laughs> very expensive. So I was excited to get that. Um, you know, just one of those very exciting, fun things. So let's get started on some of the, oh, one more of the big kids toys. There are some baby toys, but this is the last of the bigger kids stuff. Are these gigantic discs. So they're, what are they called? One of them has a tag on. They have the tags on them. I think most of them are new. I paid a dollar each for these, I think. Jumbo flying discs from High Five. These might be from like uh, Five Below. I've never been in that store, but big flying discs, like a giant Frisbee. I thought these would be fun. That's an outdoor toy. So that is very fun. We'll move on to some other boys things. I've got some clothes and some bigger sizes because little boy stuff is so hard to find because they're so rough on their clothes. And it's hard to find good quality stuff. So somebody had a bunch of really cute stuff in 2T and I already have in his closet um, a set of three bins. They're sorted by the next upcoming sizes, but one bin that's just toddler, like anything that's 2T or above, but I've only been putting in 2T and 3T. So then I'll be ready when the time comes for him to grow into these. So this is a Granimals shirt. So. Nothing not too exciting of a brand, but I liked the little graphic. I thought it was cute. This was a set of Carter's 2T pajamas for the summertime. I love this and it's very vibrant. A lot of these clothes look new. I mean, this looks like it's not even been worn. So it's really in great shape. And then I 2T zippered pajama, little short alls for him for the summer. Another set of pajamas, also short alls and Carter's 2T, where this is orange and white striped with these little rhinos. This was super nice. This was 2T also. I think these are all 2T. I'm gonna stop saying that they're 2T because I'm just, I think they're all 2T or 3T. This cute little Nike track jacket. I thought it was so precious and Nike stuff for babies is really expensive. This didn't have a label brand in it, but it did have the size. So I was fine enough with that, but they're just little fleece line track pants, which will be so nice for the winter. And the fleece is in great shape. And this would have gotten like really pilled if a kid had worn it a lot. So once again, I was very surprised that, that was in as good of shape as it was. This little shirt that says, let's go camping. This didn't have a brand name either. Well, maybe it did. What did it say? Rabbit skins. I don't know who that is, but let's go camping. Just a cute little t-shirt. All these little t-shirts are just fun. Cause that's something that's going to get worn out first. This is a Nike little t-shirt. It says your favorite player, which is fun. Your favorite player, a little champion. This is like an athletic fabric in Tennessee orange. So very fitting for us here. And we have UT gear everywhere all the time. So anything in orange, this doesn't have a brand either. I don't know who this is. Don't know, but it's another, this is another pair of little sweatpants. These are not fleece lined, just a cotton pull on jogger pant. This is a little Reebok blue t-shirt with the blue and yellow. I liked this one because it has a little cute little dinosaur. This is Cat and Jack. It's just a little dinosaur jumping rope. As you can tell, I am not, um, I feel like the phrasing of it's not very nice, but you know, the trend of the like sad beige mom as they call it. I like a lot of colors for my kids clothes. I don't mind dinosaurs and dragons on them and that sort of thing. And these are cute little child of mine, um, 24 month shorts. So just a good little haul there of really basic stuff for him for the future. So I was really pumped about that. Let me pull over this nice, also the bag this came in is really nice. So I'll have to show this at the end. This was not, I did not actually purchase this bag. And my mom purchased some of these big toys because when we first got there, everything was just, it was a melee, y'all. 
but people were not shopping for the same kind of stuff we were. A lot of people went to like home decor first and I am pretty much good on home decor. I didn't even look at the Christmas. Um, I did look at linens. I do like to look for linens, but I just, the home decor, I'm like, eh, I'm just, I'm pretty well full. If there's something, great. This is also the art sale. If you've watched, if you've been a subscriber for a while, that I got my iris painting from, which is currently hanging in my room, which I just looked at. So that is the same sale. So first, these are really dirty. So you'll have to forgive me for that, but they're, you know, easily going to be cleaned. I was really shocked nobody picked these up. Like I said, a lot of people were not picking up stuff that I was interested in. I got two pairs for a dollar each of Hunter Rain boots. Now they're dirty, but the tread's in great shape. They're, one's a 23 and one's a 23. I don't even know what that means in children's sizes. But two, one pair in black, one player, pair in red, and voila. And they're gender neutral enough that if they survive my son, they could go to a girl if we had a girl next, Lord willing, or if we have a boy, either way. So I was really excited about that. And those are normally, I don't look up everything I buy, but I did, I do like to, because I like to know how much I'm saving and that sort of thing. Um, full price, they're $65 and that's bananas. My husband <laughs> doesn't know the prices of stuff usually um, with kids stuff, especially he just, that's just not in his wheelhouse in his mind. He doesn't have to worry about it because I'm the one who does all the secondhand shopping. And I said, I showed him them last night when I was unpacking some of this stuff. And I said, um, did you know these shoes would have been $65 each new? And he goes, who pays that much for kids shoes? Which I said, I mean, some people do. Obviously they did because <laughs> they have these at this yard sale. I think people didn't pick them up because they were dirty, but they're rain boots. They're going to get dirty. And yeah, we'll just put those away for later. Now here's some of the fun baby toys. There's more in another bag, but this is some of them. This is like a little spinner and it spins the bottom. Just a little spinner thing. And it is B kids. It says $2 on it. This is a little Fisher Price bus. I don't think, oh, I don't think the batteries are working in it right now, so I'll have to replace the batteries, but it's just a cute little Fisher Price bus. The people move up and down when you turn stuff. Let me see. Maybe I don't know how to work this one. At least, I think you have to push them back down, maybe. So you can like, yeah, there you go. And then they pop up and it wheels around and you know, yada, 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 oh, he does turn. It's kind of harder to turn, but. He does turn. I got it now. <laughs> Here I am with the baby twin. I can't even figure out how to use it, but <laughs> it's very cute. We just have to replace the batteries. And I got a load of books. Books for children were four for a dollar. So I got loads and loads of books and I'm really excited about that. So I'll try to go through them quickly because I know not everybody is interested in children's books, but I like just to show them for you fellow children's lit lovers. So we got Mr. Bumble which I remember reading this as a little girl. We got I Spy Junior, very cute. And let's see, I don't even know what all this is. It's um, it's uh, shrink wrapped, so I didn't look into it that much. But yeah, it was normally $25. I think it's just like a set of early books um, and it has a CD-ROM in it, so just very cute. Well, I Spy Junior set. This is a Discovery Kids Ultimate Activity Pack, and it's three books, one poster, and 900 stickers. And I looked through at least one of the books that, and it hadn't been used. Like here's all of the stickers on these pages, and then um, there's the thing, and it's like meet your body and talking about the intestines and da da da, da. and um. Fantastic food, add food stickers to the plate, to, like have a balanced meal, all these things. Carbohydrates give you energy, all these little things. I thought that was really cute and that that would probably be very expensive in the store. So <laughs> let's see if it has the price on it. Oh, it's actually not that expensive in the store. It was $8 from Kohl's. So that was a surprise. I got a set of Bob books, which they were all rubber banded together and a bunch of them just fell out. <laughs> but you can just see all of these Bob books. And I only got charged as um, for one of those um, since they were all banded together since they're just early, um, early readers. Let me pull some more out of here so it's easier to get them out of this bag. Okay, 
This is the Frog Alphabet Book, which is super cute. This has um, T is for Tadpole, S is for Spring Peeper, just like all these different amphibians. And going through the alphabet, this is the Star Spangled Banner. And this is, of course, fitting for Memorial Day weekend. Um, has pictures and then all the lyrics so kids can understand more so. Because some of the words they might not understand. The rocket's red glare. Um, our flag was still there. Um, or the ramparts we watched. Like, they hear the, the lyrics, I think, sometimes, and they don't know what the words mean. So that's what that book is for. This book is called Into the Tub, which looks very cute. And it is... Um, a scientific, scientifically based reading guide designed by teachers for parents. Um, and it's helping with um, sight words and reading readiness skills. So it's very cute. A lot of these were donated by a teacher. Two old, fro two froggy books. We used to have these, but um, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, you'll have seen that I built a library in my attic for my son. And we don't have a lot of froggy books because they got destroyed by my mom's kids when she was teaching. So some of these did get destroyed, but we got Froggy Plays in the Band and Froggy Plays T-Ball. This one's so cute, Abe Lincoln, The Boy Who Loved Books. This actually has beautiful illustrations in it, very cute. Skippy John, Skippy John Jones in the Doghouse. Skippy John Jones is a classic series at this point. Lots of kids like those books. Be a Friend to Trees, which is all about how trees help us. So fun. This is the Hello Goodbye Window, which I remember reading this and I don't remember a ton about it, but it did get, I think, the Caldecott Medal, so. I do like the really abstract, very colorful pictures. Um, Pumpkin Hill is about a farmer growing too many pumpkins, so a perfect fall seasonal book. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. This also got destroyed in my mom's classroom <laughs> over the years. So, we've got it back now. Gus and the Baby Ghost, which is just all about a ghost trying to take care of a baby. And I think it's really, it was really cute. I read through a few of the pages and I thought it looked very funny. Uh, and just sweet. This is A Treasury of Mother Goose, a pop-up book. And it's got all beautiful working pop-ups. I love pop-up books. Love pop-up books. I think they're so much fun. This is my dinosaur, a read and play book. And it's got these little things, they're all tangled up, but you like put them into the little slots where they go. And I don't know exactly how you use it, but it was a scholastic book, it looked really cute. But you can, um, you try to get the dinosaurs into the spot so you learn the names of the different dinosaurs and what they look like. So that's a fun, fun little book there, but they're all tangled up right now. So I'm gonna have to un, work on untangling them later um, when I clean all of these. Come Rhyme With Me. This is a lift flat book and this one's really awesome because this is why I love children's book. You can teach so many things. So the words, the last words of the sentence are covered up right here. So the kids, you're going to have them try to guess along with you such as K is for kangaroo with a baby in her pouch, jumping up and down on grandma's leather. And then it's using context clues to predict what's the next word and what rhymes with pouch, which is going to be, of course, couch. So very good for, you know, trying to like look at the imagery, use context clues to anticipate what's the next thing that's supposed to come up in the sentence. The Night Before Summer Vacation, just a cute little book. Over and Under the Snow. This is a book about hibernation. Town Mouse and Country Mouse. Classic book. My mom used to have this. I do not believe we have it anymore, which is why I picked it up. Terrible Tyrannosaurus. And this one is all about T-Rexes. Little facts. Fun things like that. Things little boys like to learn about is dinos. Streganona, Her Story. I love Tommy DePaulo books so much. And my mom used to do an author study on those. So a lot of those books did not survive because they got real beat up. <laughs> Sunflower House. This was cute. I don't remember this one that much. My mom picked up some of these too. Um, I think this is all just about sunflowers and how they grow a little bit. And just a fictional book 
about the house that has a lot of sunflowers. Tacky Locks and the Three Bears. I love Tacky Locks. Tacky, um, Tacky the Penguin. He is so funny. So that is going to be cute. Love Robert Munch books. The Sandcastle Contest. Nursery Rhymes. This is just a beautifully old-timey illustrated book of nursery rhymes. And it's very old because there are some words used in here that um, people would not put in a modern day book. And I don't mean like that they're inappropriate. Well, they're words that were appropriate at the time that we have now made inappropriate. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Cause I don't want to get uh, my channel flagged. <laughs> so words that would have been appropriate at the time and they have an, a double meaning now in our modern era. Lots and lots of coins, all about coins, coin identification, how many, you know, pennies are in a dollar, that sort of a deal. Hyde Clyde, which is just a funky book about a um, caterpillar. And there's lots of fun colors and they try to identify the colors when they're using them in a sentence by also making the word itself the color. The Big Wide Mouthed Frog. This is really funny. This is him meeting all these different animals and um, he's like describing them by what they look like. And then he's like, introduce, they introduce themselves as what they actually are. Going to the zoo, all about, you guessed it, going to the zoo. Thump, quack, moo, a wacky adventure, um, a spinoff of click, clack, moo. And then here's the bag this came in because it's super cute. I don't know what this is technically. It has like a little pouch inside of it. I don't know if it's supposed to be a travel bag or what, but um, I got this bag for free. So it's very cute. Uh, it has somebody else's initials on it, but it's a very sturdy bag. So I don't know if I'll keep that or not, but I at the very least got to um, take that with all the books home with me. Um, there was a very nice gentleman that was volunteering and he was helping me with filling the bags and holding them because there was a lot of good stuff. So. Moving onward, onward, forward, and upward. There's one more kids bag, so let me grab that. This mostly has kids stuff in it. People, um, one of the ladies was very shocked we spent so much time there. Um, I wasn't, because, you know, we have a lot of stuff to look at. But she was surprised we spent two and a half hours. Um, this was $2. This is a cute Melissa and Doug fish. It makes sounds, it's got the little mirror. Like little rainbow fish, the little flaps have sea creatures underneath of them. So that is fun. This is Infantino. Infantino. Another little like stroller toy because you can uh, strap it up there. These I picked up for later because they were such good quality. And I think these were a quarter. This is a youth large, but these are Columbia snow gloves. Do we get a lot of snow? No. But when we do get snow, I'll be happy to have the snow gloves. Got one bib that says Feed Me from Child of Mine by Carters. I got a couple of burp cloths. I'm trying to avoid having to buy burp cloths new. <laughs> but this one's cute. It's got little puppy dogs on it. What kind are these? Are these like little... I don't remember. Bulldogs, I guess? Kind of look like bulldogs. This is a Carters burp cloth. Gray, white stripe. I got these. I've seen these before. These were a quarter each. They're supposed to be harder for them to spill, so you can put snacks in them and they put their hand down in it like this. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And it actually has a place for you to put your kid's name on it, which is very helpful. This is a little nubby teaser. You can freeze it and these will be cold on their little, little teethies. This is really cute. This is My House Animals and Simple Words First Words Puzzle Set. This was $3. This sucker is heavy as heck. This is really nice. And it's got all these different puzzles in it, which I know in my last video I said I don't generally buy puzzles because I'm worried that they're not going to have all the pieces, but we did check this one. So I won't, don't mind divide if I can check if there's all the pieces there. This is a, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't keep a hold of it. I don't know what brand this is. It might be VTech. Yeah, it's VTech. A little like soccer ball and it makes sounds when you press it. It does work. I turned it off though because I didn't want to hear all the noises. This is another just cutesy little thing that you can strap onto the car seat or the stroller when they're a little bit older. It crinkles. It's got little fun things down here. All this stuff. That's so expensive when you have to buy it new. Another little baby toy. It's got a little smiley face and it's got these little beads in the back. And also don't think my yard sales are always this good. This was just a really good weekend of these yard sales. 
this little cat that rolls around and he's got little fun balls in his back. A Buzz Lightyear action figure. Very fun. Very cute. Another little stroller clip-on toy from Infantino. I think he's supposed to be a seahorse, I'm assuming. And last but not least, another fun teether. So, I see this video is getting long, so we are going to split this into two parts because otherwise this will be an hour. So, this is the end of part one. So, all these kids' toys, all this stuff for my son. I'm so excited. And you save a lot of money this way by purchasing all this stuff secondhand. It's a lot of money at one time, but I mean, even just buying the three big things would have cost more than I paid for everything else. So that's it for this video. If you enjoy this kind of thrifting and yard sale content, be sure to subscribe, especially to watch part two and give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy these kind of videos and leave me a comment down below. Do you have any really good church yards and yard sales in your area? Cause I have like a list of which ones are the best in my area. And this is definitely one of the best. Most of my sales are not nearly as good as this. So until next time, bye.